Hello, welcome to the course of satellite. So today we are going to discuss about the satellite communication system. So in this chapter, we are going to discuss about the satellite communication system. Then we will discuss about the satellite link parameters and the type of satellite services. So starting with the very first, let's discuss about the satellite communication system. So here the satellite communication system composed of three segments. So these three segments are space segment, control segment and the ground segment. So here the space segment consists of one or more active and sphere satellite and here these satellites are organized into a constellation. Second is control segment. This segment contains all ground facilities for the control and monitoring of the satellites and the management of the traffic of satellite system. So here it is also known as TTC that is tracking, telemetry and command station. Second is third one is the ground segment. So here this ground segment contain the traffic of earth station. So the next one is this diagram shows the space segment, ground segment and the control segment. So here the space segment it consists of the multiple satellites that are connected through the inter-satellite link. And here the ground segment consists of interface station, user station and service station. So here the user stations allows the customer direct access to the space segment through handset, mobile station and VSET that is very small aperture terminal. The second one is interface station, this station known as the gateway. And here it interconnects the space segment to a terrestrial network. And this one service station, this service station collects or distributes information from and to user station via the space segment using hub or feeder station. And this one is a control segment that consists of TTC and M and the network management station. So let's discuss about these segments one by one. So let's discuss about first one that is the space segment. So here the space segment consists of payload and platform. So here the payload consists of receiving, uh, receiving and transmitting antennas and all the electronic equipment. Whereas the platform consists of attitude control sub subsystem, propul propulsion system, electric power supply, TTC and thermal control structure. Next is the ground segment. So here the ground segment's terminal consists of three types. The first one is the fixed terminal. Fixed terminal assess the satellite while remaining fixed at the ground. So here this fixed terminal provides different type of services and its main terminal does not move while communicating with the satellite. The example are VSATs and the terminal mounted on the building used to broadcast satellite signal. Next is the transportable terminal. This transportable terminal is a movable terminal by remain but remain fixed while transmission. So here the transportable terminal uh, is the example of this is the satellite news gathering. And here the satellite news gathering they move to the location, they stop in the place and then they deploy the antenna to establish link to the satellite. And the last one is the mobile terminal. This mobile terminal is designed to communicate with satellite while in motion or movement. So here the mobile terminal they are also defined as land mobile, aeronautical mobile, maritime mobile and it's, de it's depending upon the location on ne on and near to the earth surface. So here these are the three terminal, fixed terminal, here the satellite terminal remain fixed to the ground transportable terminal here it is the uh, it is a movable terminal but it remain fixed while transmission and reception of the signal whereas in for the mobile terminal it remain mobile in the moment while transmission and reception the next one is the control segment so here the control segment terminal consists of two types the first one is TTC and M that is tracking, telemetry, command and monitoring station that provides management and control function to keep the satellite operating safely in the orbit. And the second one is network management station NMS that is used for non-real-time management function of the connection and associated resources that are allocated to a single satellite network. 
Now the satellite link parameter. So communication satellite air links are of three types. The first one is uplink that is from earth station to satellite. Second is downlink that is from satellite to the ground. And the third one is inter-satellite link that is the link between the satellites. And the space radio communication services. So the type of space radio communication services are the first one is fixed satellite services, then mobile satellite services, broadcasting satellite services, earth exploration satellite services, space research services, space operation services, radio determination satellite service, inter-satellite service and the amateur satellite service. So these are the different type of space radio communication services. So this is all about the satellite communication system. Thank you.